Let's look at the best NVIDIA tech demos of the last 20 years, starting with the first Lightning demo released back in January year 2000. It was meant to demonstrate real-time lighting and per-pixel lighting capabilities of GeForce second series graphics cards. The second demo released on the same date is called Bubble. Its main purpose was to show some amazing reflection effects and it was launched with GeForce 256. The next demo we're gonna look at goes by the name of Grass. In this demo, up to 10,000 individual blades of grass and multi-pass clouds are generated on the fly. Later that year, in July, Grove was released. It was launched together with GeForce 2 Ti. In the demo, you can see multiple trees and unlimited light sources. In this demo called The Creature, released on January 1st, year 2001, we can see how the light on the creature is both reflected and refracted. And as far as I can tell, it is their earliest example of par pixel shading. The Wolfman demo, released in February 2001, was one of the first examples of real-time volumetric fur rendering on a fully animated character model. It was launched together with GeForce 4 Ti. Chameleon and Chameleon Mark demos, released in 2001 and 2002 respectively, were performance tools for measuring pixel shader performance for a number of different shaders. Zolta the Magnificent is another demo that was released in February 2001. In this demo we can see an animated fortune teller and his face animation is rather unimpressive by today's standards, but for 2001 I guess it was quite good. To demonstrate the power of accelerated anti-aliasing hardware, Bugs was released in February 2002, together with GeForce 4 MX. Tidepool demo released in 2002 brought water rendering to a whole new level, whereas the Squid demo released the same year showed us one of the deep-sea mystical creatures that Jacques Cousteau probably never saw. I'll let the next couple of demos speak for themselves. The only one worth mentioning at this point is Clear Sailing demo, released in 2004, because it demonstrated how the fragment shaders work and how they can create effects that were not possible before. This demo was released together with GeForce 6 series graphics cards.
The next demo is Human Head, released together with GeForce 8800 Ultra back in May 2007. This demo was a startling leap forward in terms of realism for real-time character rendering. I remember having that particular card and playing Crisis 1 on it. Despite the resolution being lower than 720p, it was a great experience nonetheless. Dynamic tessellation, compute shaders and shader model 5.0 were all used in Unigen Heaven Benchmark released in June 2010. In the Alien vs Triangles demo released in 2010, we see how tessellation can be used to show realistic surface damage to the alien skin, whereas procedurally generated tessellation enables the creation of a massive city, such as the city in the Endless City demo released in November 2010. The Human Head 2 demo released in 2013 was a prime example of capturing and rendering human facial expressions in real time. Atomic Heart demo, released in 2019, was an example of advanced ray tracing technology that you probably already have heard of a lot at this point. So there's no point of me rambling about it. I hope you have a good day. Take care.